Now for years, camera application developers and even content creators have been complaining to Google and all the other various Android OEMs about the lack of functionality with the camera hardware and sometimes the camera software on their Android device. So Google decided to do something with this starting in Android 5.0 Lollipop. They introduced a new feature that is referred to as the Camera 2 API. This is just one of the many APIs that applications can tap into to access certain hardware. And having a phone that supports the Camera 2 API will let your camera application do more than it used to be able to. So, I recently showed you how to check to see if your device is supporting Project Treble. Today I want to show you how to check if your device supports the Camera 2 API. And this is more than just a pass-fail because there are different levels that I'll show you here. So we're going to start by downloading and installing the Camera 2 Space Probe application from the Play Store. It's a free application. It's easy to install and I'll have it linked in the full tutorial just in case you don't want to go through searching for it. Once that's installed, we just open it up. So we get some basic information up here telling us the model phone we have what the SDK version it's built from, what our current version of Android is on this device. And then what we're gonna look at right here is the hardware level support category. So as you can see, there are four different hardware level support categories for the camera. Now legacy, which this Redmi Note 5 has, means that it, the phone only offers features from the old Camera One API. So a lot of these newer camera applications are actually looking for support for the Camera 2 API. And there's even some good mods out there like the Google Cam mod, which brings a lot of the good photo quality pictures from the Pixel phones to these older devices that don't have that great of a camera sensor. So with, if your phone is showing up as legacy, that means that your phone does not support the Camera 2 API and you're just going to have to look elsewhere. Now, we have limited, and limited means that it does offer support for some of the new Camera 2 API features, but it doesn't guarantee that they will all work. Just like the name says, it is limited. This could either be just features that the OEM have coded in there, or maybe just a recent update gave you that feature. But again, you'll get some of those features, but not all. Then we have full. If your phone is registering as full, that means your device now supports all of the basic new features from the Camera 2 API. This is great. This is usually what you're wanting to look for, for that basic support compatibility. If you have that on full, or even higher, the level three, which I'll talk about, then you can use the Google Camera Mod, you can use a lot of the more popular camera applications from the Play Store, and take advantage of those additional features that'll be present on there that will not work on these older or less expensive devices. And the last thing I wanted to show you is the level three option right here. Level three option is basically telling you that it along with it having full camera 2 api support it also includes support for additional bonus features now this can be a lot of different things the suggestions that i found for this basically just talk about raw capture but i imagine the oem can hard code this into their software skin and even the camera application if they wanted to add more camera features on top of their current camera 2 api and then if you want you can go through here and see what 
your camera supports. Mine does not support manual exposure or auto exposure. It does not support autofocus on the EDOF. And of course, just like I said, since they don't have level three support, raw capture is not supported either. So there you have it. Let's just say small application is free. You can grab it in the Play Store and it'll help you to know what type of hardware and software you have on your phone. That way you know if you can take advantage, full advantage of those third party camera applications and even the more popular camera mods that are out there.